Good morning and welcome to morning prayer at All Saints Cathedral in Halifax, Nova Scotia. My name is Heather, I'm a lay reader here, and today is Saturday, November 19th. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is our light and our life. O come, let us worship. Our psalm today is 108, beginning at verse 1. My heart is firmly fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Wake up, my spirit, awake, lute and harp. I myself will waken the dawn. I will confess you among the peoples, O Lord. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is greater than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth, so that those who are dear to you may be delivered. Save with your strong hand and answer me. A reading from the letter of James, chapter 5, starting at verse 13. Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. Are any among you sick? They should call for the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise them up, and anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being like us, and he prayed fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth yielded its harvest. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we honor Elizabeth, Princess of Hungary, whose short life in the 13th century was devoted to serving the poor, the sick, and the homeless. She was married at 14 to Ludwig, the ruler of Thuringia, and with her husband's support, happily cared for her family and the poor, founding hospitals, homes, and shelters. When her husband died and she was forced from the court, she became a Franciscan lay associate and adopted a life of poverty. She did menial labor in the hospices she had founded, serving in brutal conditions. Although she was only 24 when she died, she has left a lasting legacy, and even today, many hospitals throughout the world bear the name Elizabeth. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the heart of your servant Elizabeth kindled the flame of your love. Give us, your humble servants, such faith and power of love that as we rejoice in her triumph, we may profit by her example through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Compassionate God, As we pray for ourselves and one another, we bring to you those we know to be in need. Keep them and those who care for them in your loving kindness. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.